here we are. I'm Paul Cater Deaton. We're on a uh, virtual interview with Greg Scomo. Greg, good of you to join me. Thank you very much. Uh, great to be here, Paul. Great to see you again. You too. You too. You know, I've often said that were it not for you and like Joe Romero and one or two others, Discovery Channel would have Shark Day. I mean, you're all over that thing, man. <laughs> and, and so it's only right that we should contact you about uh, what a lot of people think is kind of an unusual thing to see in the Gulf of Mexico, which is that a great white shark has been tracked here. It was tagged in Nova Scotia, and uh, that was six months ago. And already it's made it all the way here to the Gulf of Mexico, about 150 miles offshore. Is that common, uncommon? Shed some light on this for us, would you? Oh, ha happy to do that, Paul. As you know, white sharks are near and dear to me. We've tagged over 230 of them off the coast of Massachusetts in the last 10 years, and we've been watching their movements. and and. Uh, What's really quite fascinating is they, they do make these really broad, extensive seasonal migrations, you know, going as far as, as Canada in the summertime as temperatures warm up in the late spring and they stay through the summer. They, in, they even stay into the early fall up in these northern latitudes of New England and Canada. And then they migrate down uh, south in the wintertime. They're, I like to refer to them, as you know, as like the snowbird migrations, you know, leaving these cold New England areas. Canada as things uh, start to cool off and they head to the southeastern U.S. and many of our sharks have entered the Gulf of Mexico. What I think is pretty fascinating about this individual shark is it's really moved a little bit farther west than we typically see them but I noticed also it's staying offshore. It seems to be exploiting resources in uh, in the Gulf of Mexico associated with with seamounts and some of the more productive areas. So you know white sharks are, are amazing critters and that they do these really broad scale uh, annual migrations. And I guarantee that shark comes right back up to New England this coming summer. Most of my research is funded either through the state or through the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy. So if you want to follow what we're doing, you know, obviously they have Twitter handles and, and, um, and Facebook page and as well as the website AtlanticWhiteShark.org. So follow us at, at the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy and, and, uh, and engage with us and uh, you know learn as much as you can about these amazing animals because it's exciting times and, and I may be the face of some of this work but I have a, a great team behind me that uh, you know makes it all happen well we're, we're fortunate here at the Institute we have a, a group of folks that really look very carefully at sharks and have been uh, tagging sharks for many years dr. Greg stuns and his team. In fact, they were, they've were they just returned from an extended trip uh, tagging uh, mako sharks, uh, shark fin mako sharks. And so we keep track of sharks uh, and, and where they are. And there's a really uh, a wonderful uh, tagging program going on worldwide. And so, yes, to answer your, your question uh, specifically, uh, uh, very occasionally we'll see uh, white sharks that will venture, venture into the Gulf. Uh, they don't usually come in very far. They don't come as far as the Texas coast, for example, but they'll get into the middle part of the Gulf, we think. Uh, about that far, then they head back out. And so it's very rare to see them here, but they do occasionally come into the Gulf. I have uh, been watching uh, these some of these tracking sites for quite some time. Um, and as an underwater cinematographer and documentary producer, uh, this certainly uh, captures my interest. And I typically see them uh, stop and turn around um, once they get about to the Florida Keys or the Florida Straits. Uh, and so it's not that that common to see them come into the Gulf of Mexico and complete that trip a little further to the west. So uh, that, that, of course, is very interesting, too. Um, any parting thoughts on uh, on that, on Great Whites? Well, the, the currents that come into the Gulf, of course, most people are familiar with the loop current and the Gulf Stream that comes out around Florida and then heads up to Europe. But there are eddies that come off of that, that loop current, just like a turbulence flow. And I think probably what happens from time to time is these uh, uh, the sharks, as they're making their little nose into the Gulf, they'll get caught in one of those eddies and just drift for a while with it until they get out of it and, and come back out on the main current. So that's probably what's happening here. 